here I have a protein sequence similarity network that I have downloaded from the EFI website. I have loaded it into Cytoscape and I have applied a layout. In a sequence similarity network we have node, a blue box, and node represents protein sequence or a set of protein sequences. Between nodes sometimes you will see an edge. Edge are drawn between nodes only when the similarity between the sequences represented by the nodes is higher than the threshold value applied. You only draw edges when the similarity between the nodes in is higher than the threshold you apply when you generate your sequence similarity network on the EFI website. As you've seen, by clicking on a node you can select it. In Cytoscape we have the table panel that is present in here and I can you can see that I'm looking at the node table right now. When I select a node by clicking on it, I will show the node attributes information for the selected node only. I have here the Uniprot ID of the sequence that is represented in this node and I can see a lot of information as node attributes. For example, I can have a look at the organism from this sequence. The taxonomy ID corresponding to the organism. I know that this sequence is annotated using Trumbull. Trumbull is an automated annotation process. And this is the description that has been applied to Trumbull for uh, the annotation of this node. Because it's a Trumbull annotation, it's not a Swiss prot description, so the Swiss prot description is not available. We have the sequence length, the gene name, some NCBA IDs, and we know it's from bacteria, actinobacteria, and so on. And in here we have the full species name. There is currently no EC number associated with this node in Uniprot, but this sequence has been matching the PFAM family PF00215 and also the Interpro domain family IPR001754. We can see more information on the right. Similarly, if you click on an edge, you will be able to select it. And if you go to the edge table in the panel, panel, you will have the information for that particular node. For example, I know that this edge is connecting these two nodes and that the percent ID between these two nodes is 38.4. I know that the alignment score between these two nodes is 31 and the alignment length 237. The alignment score is the value on which you apply a threshold when you establish your alignment score threshold in, on the EFI website. In Cytoscape you also have the control panel. By default you are in the network panel for the control panel which allow you to select which network you are working on. Right now I only have one network open and this is the only one displayed. We will see in other videos how you can edit the style overall of the network but also how you can edit the style of specific nodes and edges in the style panel. You can select nodes using filters. For example, I'm going to go and add a filter and the filter that you're going to apply are going to work on these uh, node attributes or edge attributes. If I go to select add a column filter and I'm going to choose the column that is species, I'm going to be able to select all the nodes for which a species name contains mycobacterium. And in my network, I know of eight nodes that have been selected that are from C species that contain the word mycobacterium. 
and you can see in here, have all the IDs of the protein from the particular protein family I'm working with that are present in several of the mycobacterium. In addition, you can add annotations to the network using the annotation panel. 